Mine detection dogs have a big advantage when clearing minefields. They aren't distracted by metal fragments. They only detect explosives. And in former battlefields, that's a huge saving in time and money. I have very strong confidence with mine detection dog. And as a country, I uh, have quite long experience for this uh, mine and nuclear clearance in this region. I strongly believe that this region needs this tool in order to reuse the, and speed up UXO and landmine clearance for the region. My dog, Atta, she uh, has high motivation in working. She wants to work very much. And uh, she is very good uh, in obedience. She respects everyone. My life relies on her is that in the real minefield, yes, yeah, she, she's very work hard. Yes, she never lazy and she is very honest to me. Yes, she's friendly and hardworking. In the real minefield, yes, after we finish operation, we always uh, train because we need to trust the dog. We need to build the dog ability to search. We started supporting the dog project with CMAC in 2001, so that's also more than 11 years. Uh, and uh, the commitment to CMAC. Uh, is a long-term commitment where the Norwegian Ministry of Foreign Affairs are providing the funding and uh, MPA is providing the technical assistance to uh, CMAC to help them uh, build up their own capacity to uh, run the dogs in an efficient way. Up. After work, and the dog have to feed, to come here and uh, just play with the dog handler. You see, when the dog go up and down, and dog handler give Kong to the dog, and the dog just play. It mean like motivate to the dog, and the dog really happy. And then the dog remember, okay, when I do this, I will get something to play, something like that. Well, at the moment, uh, all the dogs that are used uh, in Cambodia, it's approximately 60 operational dogs used by CMAC. Uh, all the dogs are uh, delivered from uh, the Global Training Center of MPA in Bosnia to uh, Cambodia. And they are specially bred dogs uh, for the purpose of detecting mines and unexploded ordnance. So they would not necessarily uh, be a good house dog, but they are very good uh, dogs for this purpose. Behind us. This is the obedient activity and with our trainer to train them. And the dog handler and dog have to go forward at least 20 meter and go <coughs> right 10 meter and go left 10 meter. And when they are right here, the dog have to stay down and listen to the dog handler's comment. And this is the activity, you see, let the dog and, uh, lay down and dog handler come in front of the dog and just use a body language stunner. Did it show the dog? Stay down and calm down, don't move anyway. And after that, and the dog handler go back to the dog and let the dog still stay down also. You see, and they have a, like a cone inside the armpit. And after that, okay, use the common word sit up and then the dog sit up. After that, give the cone to the dog and just play with the dog, make the dog motivate all the time. This, this is our obedience. It's very important, very important. Uh, this is a, it's a very uh, important exercise for the dog. We have two kinds, one is a long walk and one is swimming. And this swimming is uh, very uh, good for the dog also. You see, after training, you have to spend time at least a half hour or one hour with the dog. The dog has to come here and to swim because we want the dog strong and uh, have a good muscle. So we do this every day. So now we have our store here. We keep the different of explosive that we get, fr uh, get from, from uh, another place. And everything like material, we have to buy before using. 
Before we use this uh, TNT, we have all our instructor and trainer have to wear clothes because we don't want the human smell being uh, contaminated with our TNT. If this something happen, the dog will confuse and the dog, our dog will get a problem also. We have 12 arm and in 12 arm we put uh, every uh, kind of uh, smell like uh, grass, the cow trapping and TNT and micro piece of corn. But the thing that we want just only is TNT. The dog indicate on the smell of TNT, the dog will give the sign, sit smoking, and then handler or trainer or our instructor give reward. This is uh, we call uh, Kong and uh, for the dog playing, just like a reward when the dog do something right. And this is very important. And from the beginning, we train the dog with Kong. Because you see, it is easy for the dog. When the dog doing something wrong, we can use this. We don't care about the TNT, just only focus on Kong. When the dog understand well with this one, and we just make TNT with Kong. And then when the dog <coughs> understand about the smell of TNT, we take Kong away, and we just get reward for the dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, good dog. Uh, this training is very important because uh, we want the dog to indicate on explosive in the building and especially we want the dog to use the, uh, their nose we call express uh, pressure surge. So we put the layers TNT or explosive in the hole of the brick and let the dog use the nose and indicates on the spot that we want and then the dog will just give rewards. Uh, this is a very important for our dog training here and we want our dog to search straight line and uh, mark in straight line also and we don't want our dog to move another way, just only focus in straight line. Productivity is very important. If the, the dog handler and dog cannot have a good coverage to each other, and we will get uh, we will get <coughs> low productivity. So if something this happen, we have to train uh, the dog and dog handler also, and all the dog we can hand over to our instructor to train them. And if something happen again with this, we have to check what is the problem with the dog handler or dog. <laughs> ការងារបស់ខ្ញុំរាល់ថ្ងៃនេះគឺយកចិត្តទំដាក់ថែទាំផ្នែកខាង <coughs> ແລະគេហៅថាជំងឺរ៉ែបីហើយនឹងជំងឺ
hay nâng mũi chậm nay thông tiết cứ dọc chặt tụt đại từ lớp này anh làm hay gì sanitation cứ dùng thuốc ca cleaning à kia sạn nữ hay nâng canal trung sạn nọ từng ô ແລະຊັ້ນວ່າຊື່ຈະມີຈຸງຮຽກຮູ້ຄວາຊິຕຶງວ່າມີປໍສະເລດສ້າງໃຫ້ກະນາຍັງຈົດຕຶງຍັງ